Welcome to Scott Cooks, everybody. Today, we are going to cook an acorn squash in the Ninja Hoodie. See the size of it? About the size of my hand. It's kind of a small squash. We're going to do some baked roast, and this is going to take uh, 45 minutes to an hour, so if you're going to use this as a part of your meal, like I'm going to do tonight, you want to get a really good head start on this. We'll be using the 6.5 quart Ninja Foodi tonight with the standard rack that comes with it, inverted, so it's at its lowest setting. While we're preparing our squash, we're going to go ahead and preheat the foodie. Just go ahead and lower your lid power up. We're going to use bake roast tonight. We want to lower that temperature to 350. Don't worry about the time right now. We'll adjust that later. Uh, we're just doing a little preheat while we work on our squash. All right, here's what we're going to do. You're going to need a really big heavy duty knife. And we're going to cut right down through this. And it may not be the easiest thing in the world, so be careful, guys. You want to get you don't want to get your hand under this thing. This is razor sharp and it will cut you. What I'm going to do is a little like this to get, a, get the process started. All right, you see my method there? I'm cutting straight down through it and then I'm pulling right down the seam and yeah it's tough I'm not gonna lie to you but that's a squash that's how they are and there you go guys what we're gonna do let's go grab a spoon and go over top of the trash can we're gonna pull these seeds out we're gonna bake these two halves and what we're gonna do is we're gonna start with 30 minutes we're gonna be baking it down and the last 30, 40 minutes, whatever it takes, we're going to be baking it up because we'll be placing some butter and brown sugar into the center for flavoring. Man, this is going to be good. I can't wait. Let's go ahead and clean it up now. Easy. Tablespoon, hand, trash can, scoop, scoop, scoop. Now you can save those seeds and roast them up with some salt but I don't think, I don't like them as much as a pumpkin seed. I like roasted pumpkin seeds, acorn seeds. You can do it, doesn't really do it for me, but uh, do whatever you want. Look <laughs> at that. Are these gonna be great or what? We are preheated. Let's go ahead and get going here, y'all. Okay, now I know there was a little talk in the comments about um, spraying anything in your foodie. And I agree with a lot of the, uh, a lot of you guys, a lot of the comments. That some of the sprays can be very hazardous. I use this Pam. Uh, this is just canola oil, guys. This is, in my opinion, anyway. I don't think it's going to hurt anything. But we do need to spray a little nonstick on that, um, rack because that is not a nonstick rack okay like I said we're going to invert for the first half of the cook and you can off center them you don't really want them lay up up against the side but um, you might not be able to avoid it depending on the size you got and down with the lid and we're going to go set our time now Welcome back, everybody. It's been 30 minutes. Nice glisten on the uh, outside of the, the shell here, the skin. And the house is definitely smelling like acorn squash. So what we want to do now is we want to roll these, throw a little butter, throw a little brown sugar in, and finish them off. All right, guys, these are very, very hot, of course. So we're going to just... Uh, grab whatever you got to flip them with. I'm going to use just a, just a fork and a knife because I need this knife to cut the butter with anyway. And they flip nicely and they're cooking perfect. Check it for tenderness. Oh yeah, look at that. 
Look at that, guys. We're already getting tender with these things. That's amazing. I tell you, every time I cook in this foodie, I'm more and more amazed, I guess is the right word. All right, you got about a half a tablespoon of butter here, approximately. Put whatever you guys want in. I'm using that. I love my sweet cream butter. It's really the all I use. I rarely use margarine for anything around here. And I'm not going to tell you how much brown sugar to use because, you know, that's a that's kind of a matter of preference. So um, I'm using light brown. And these are kind of small squash. What we're after when this butter melts and this brown sugar melts, we're just going to have kind of like a brown puddle in the bottom. I don't think these are going to need another 30 minutes, y'all. But uh, So we're going to set our timer to come back and check these about every 10 minutes to make sure we don't burn them, but we get them cooked well. Welcome back to our 10 minute check and we are looking good in here, guys. Real good. I'm just gonna do a... That acorn squash is ready. Let's get it out. Well, there you have it. Acorn squash. Cooked in the Ninja Foodi. Bake roast 350 degrees. Total cook time was 40 minutes. That was 10, I'm sorry, 30 minutes with it facing down. 10 minutes up with the butter and brown sugar. It is very, very tender. Let's give this a taste test. Get some of that good butter, brown sugar mixed in there. And me <clears throat> I'm back. I'm trying to drip butter all over the floor hold on guys there we go and I dropped it whoa Mark Ween's face that was really good but hey this isn't the end we're not so good have Acorn squash for dinner. Oh, I gotta flip the uh, thing around. Hang on, guys. We're not just gonna have acorn squash for dinner. While well, we got the foodie nice and hot, I got this really nice hardwood smoked sausage. We're gonna throw that right in. Let's do it now. Never waste a hot foodie, I say. Continue. Bake roast 350. Smoked sausage. Hardwood smoked. Gluten free. Looking forward to this one. So we're going to let this um, cook for maybe 10 minutes and then we're going to go ahead and eat. All right, guys, that's 10 minutes on the sausage. What we're looking for is a little pop. Do it over here where you can see it. There we go. I'm not sure if you can hear that. Let that skin pop. This juice is come rolling out. That sausage is ready. Let's serve it. Well, there you go, guys. Baked roast acorn squash. Baked roast smoked sausage. Let's give that sausage a little taste. But first, I'm going to put my favorite thing on it. on the side here. I love sausage with its own ground mustard. It's one of my favorites. Let's give this a taste test, Joe. Mmm, look at that. This is going to be good. Mmm. That's really good. Crisp again. You taste a little of that smoke, hardwood smoke. Fantastic, y'all. If you like this video,
please subscribe to the channel. Leave me some comments. Click that like button for me. That thumbs up. That really helps the channel out quite a bit. If you got the ability, please share the video. I want to thank everybody for watching. Make sure you leave me some comments. I hope you enjoyed it. We'll see you on the next one.